Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here, and welcome to the first redone edition of what well, one of my personal favorite games ever to exist. Psychonauts. This game is amazing. Like I don't understand why people have been never packed it. Oh uh, uh, wait, I have already I already I discussed this with my sister not so long ago. It is because at that time games like Halo, Call of Duty, you get the idea we're getting popular. Now, Destiny first came out, a game kind of is like this, is like, to the cracks, what are you going to do? And I'll tell you what it really um, so, this is like one of my favorite games I ever, um, this game's amazing, has a lot of colorful characters, you'll see, you'll see for yourself, like, I love this game so much, and I just could not wait, I know it was supposed to be all about Kirby, but, I just, I, I have to do that, like, I'm just doing this to get caught up, my family's going away, so I figure I'd take advantage. Because that's that's the opportunist side of me. Because that's what I do. I'm an opportunist by nature. So yeah, yeah. Huh. So. <laughs> this is all. This is all the Andrews are talking about it. Hey. Like. I still don't understand why there was never a sequel to this game. I understand money was an issue, but they should have made the damn sequel. Screw the money. People would have bought it. it. It's kind of that game that wasn't as popular at first, and then people, like, they developed the game. It wasn't as popular as its first, uh, but it got popular. Like, it got popular. Like, it just was popular. It was it was pretty good. It was a great game. I mean, he did a good job. I, mean, I just don't like understand. There you go. Yeah, the two characters you are here are Lily and Dogen. You they will be at the part forefront, mostly the one on the left, not so much the one on the right. And this guy behind is just an asshole. More on him later. That guy's a jerk too. Monster in the list, huh. I was telling you about. Uh, what is he talking about? Huh. I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. <laughs> well, and it's like that's I've had about enough of that. And at part of the screen comes our main protagonist friend. And we don't want to scare our special guests. So they they I I'll have my own I'll discuss this later. I'll discuss this much, much later. <laughs> Dogen. Oh, Dogen. They can't find him. They're like they're trying, they're trying to find him. Oh, there he is. bring it over here. There he is. What? Why is showing us the Raz's goggles? I don't understand. That there he is, up in the sky. Oh, they're, they're just kind of suspending him in midair. I'll find out. Um. Kid, get in. But, but you're gonna tell like early on, like everyone, like you get, you're gonna be able to tell right here. Those three. Lily's kind of interested. Raz. Um. Compelling. Armored like a tank. Yeah, they, 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 you could tell like all three of them see potential in him. Like right at that point, that's when you realize all three of them are like, they all, they all know something in here. But it's not, the, they're trying to keep the seriousness of the situation, but they, they all know Raz's potential, like right then and there. Because they're all like experienced in this matter. So, this young man taken from here immediately. Uh, that's not good. What? But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Here? Yes, Dad. <laughs> but you soar across the asteroid. Um, so to wage psychic warfare against. Yeah, the they're not talking about like. That is what I wrote on the front. Like of right here, he really like you can see right here. He he really speaks to Oleander. Like you can see, he he speaks to Oleander. Like. He really speaks to him like only oh, like touched and all that stuff. But the three of them all know. Your mother is afraid. The three of them all know. Dogen's like, oh, okay. Maybe that's a little bit about me. Yeah. 
Rock Psychic Summer Camp. <laughs> so yeah. Show them all. So yeah, they can tell that they're all like ready for this. Lily's like interested. Bobby's like not. <laughs> Bobby's like, who the hell is this guy again? You can tell it right here. He's really speaking to him. Um, so there's gonna be like a bunch of bullshit in this game. Yeah, but we're gonna be telling you about the lies that are told in the game. Like I'm gonna point him out, but like lie number one, boom, right there. So they all run along. Oh, hey, uh oh, speaking of lies, here's lie number one. You will find out later why Mil Mia is BSing Raz. She BSed him the, she BSed him throughout that entire statement. She BSed him. Like she knew, like everyone knew that. Like I don't think Raz picked up on. He will, he, he might identify with it later. But Mia, Mila was lying to him. Like all three of them were lying to him. I have a chance to beat like that. Well, Oleander wasn't, but more on that later again. They may come for me. But all three of them, they're lying. They're all lying to him. <laughs> what they're going to find? They're all lying. Is Raz. Huh? They're all lying. They're all lying. Every one of them is lying. No. But more on that later. No. Much more. Much later. So yeah, much much more on that as, as we go later in the game. So that's Sasha. Uh, yeah. Oleander's like, uh, I'm not a big fan of that plan, so you can shut up right now. <laughs> so. So like they're they're gonna they're gonna BS into the entirety of this game. Well, not the entirety, but through the early parts, they're going to BS him. I think the whole thing was a setup. <laughs> I'll ask Tim Schafer about that if I ever get the chance. Like he just beat like he BSs. They BS him throughout the majority of the beginning of this game. Like Oleander has, you'll you'll see later. Like why? Like Oleander has no intention of holding that, holding Mia's promise that he can't participate in anything. He has no, he has no itinerary, like no belief. All right, settle like, down. He doesn't. He just like, Big yeah, you're tomorrow. you get in here. <laughs> I want to see each and every one of you run to so, the yeah. classroom at all six hundred hours on the dot. Um, I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got <laughs> it? Now. Lights out! So yeah, it's then uh, that part. Okay, now are we? Now we're in Raz's dream. All right. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. So yeah, it's that's basically the whole thing. Is like over that way if you will. Look over there, you'll see it. That's a challenge marker. Fine, that was a quick level up. The one thing I don't like about this game, like, it's, 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 it's insignificant really, but it bothers me a little bit. You don't really get anything, like, you don't get anything that's worth it for 100% of the game. But there's no point in 100% this game, and it can be very taxing. Especially two levels in particular, Waterloo World and, uh, Mia's World. And we'll discuss why on Mila's world later. But I do have the intention of 100, trying to 100% the level. So I will. I'll do my best. I can't promise anything. So yeah. Uh. So. Yeah, we're wondering where that old guy went. Yeah. Yeah, I so said again, I'm really only doing this to give myself a head start. Because I gotta do, like, I'm trying to keep, I wanna do, get some of this stuff off my hard drive, so that's why I'm doing it. So, that's part of why. Um. <laughs> hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't wanna be late for basic braining! Like, they didn't hear the class. The they didn't hear Mila level. talking, so they don't know that he's not supposed to, but. Again, they're all BSing. It's all bullshit. Yeah, every one of them is BSing him. I'm I'm showing this because it's one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game. <laughs> Dogen is adorable. Like, there's no doubt in my mind, Dogen is just pure adorableness. 
Like, like he, like, they very, like, present to him as just adorable. The way they present him, the way they make him look and everything. Like, Dogen's just, like, the character you, you, you want to have as a little brother. You want to have him as a younger sibling. That's kind of what you want. You want him as a younger sibling. He's just adorable. <laughs> Here's the second part of this. Just as I can see it, just as soon as I get these guys to shut up. <laughs> um. All right. All right. <laughs> Squirrel thing. He's everywhere. Oh God. Anyway, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time on more Psychonauts.